Uh, I'm going to start this video by saying, um, fellow subscribers, uh, this is a bit of a different video than my usual ones. This isn't a theory or anything like that. This is just something that I wanted to say. Um, and this is a message to the Cobra Kai creators. This is a message to the cast, uh, the producers, um, the script editors, the set designers, the costume uh, department, everything. The, the, the composers for the soundtrack that's absolutely amazing. This is a message directly for them, um, on behalf of all the fans. I'm going to say this. This show is without a doubt one of the best things I have seen in years. Right? The fact that we've got three seasons now of just this incredibly, uh, these incredibly nuanced characters and this incredibly rich story, you know, that, that respects the legacy of the movies that came before it, the original trilogy, and potentially the next Karate Kid if they bring in Julie. Mm-hmm. Maybe down the line. Um, it respects the legacy and it adds to it. It doesn't take anything away. It adds to it. And the way that this show blends nostalgia with the new is so... It, 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 it works. It's perfect. It's not just like they throw you a scene from the movie so you can go, Hey, you remember when that happened? Because... Although the script may have it as nostalgia bait, the story has it as right. This lesson or this teaching that maybe Daniel learnt from Miyagi in Karate Kid 2, we're going to use in today's uh, episode and we're going to see how it affects Robbie or how it affects Sam or how it affects Tori or how it affects Miguel or Hawk or Chris or Mitch, you know, and just the fact that this show has been so brilliantly able to convey the legacy and the new and bring in a whole generation of new combine with the old and you know you've got fans who are fans of the show for the first time going back and watching those movies you've got people who are starting to get on board the karate kid train they're watching the movies and they're watching the show it's absolutely incredible and i cannot stress this enough this is one of the best things i have seen in years now i know there's a bit of speculation regarding season four being the final season you know i, I don't believe that at all there, there was rumor of six seasons or something like that and to be honest, I could see it going past that. This is a show that you could just keep going on with forever and ever. But, you know, like anything, quality over quantity. But this is how much faith I have in the creators is each season has been building on the previous. And, you know, things like, for example, spoilers, if you haven't seen it, things like pretty much Robbie going to the dark side. I didn't want that to happen, but the way they did it was so beautifully done and so well done that I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm along for the ride here. I'm along for the ride. Let me see what you got going with this. And it's just things like that where I have full confidence in them that this show is just going to be abs It's going to be even better next season. You know, we've got potentially silver, barns, you know, the, 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 everything is on the table now. Everything. And, you know, this show, but when it came out, uh, I was in a bit of a rough spot, you know, I, I had a bit of a, you know, not to get too deep onto things, but I didn't really feel quite myself, um, and I haven't for a long time, and just watching this show just kind of reinvigorated that, that, that Miyagi wisdom that we all loved for the original movies within me, and has inspired me to not only start pursuing my dream, which is acting even more, but it started to help me pursue, you know, working hard more, um, trying to set goals, trying to set targets, and always remembering that, you know, life is better when you're in balance. You know, you're not too much one side, you're not too much the other, you're just in the middle. And I cannot stress enough how well this shows, that, you know, that the cast's performances are absolutely amazing. Uh, William Zabka and, you know, uh, Ralph Macchio, the fantastic. Um, you, you get the feeling that nothing's really changed between Johnny and Daniel in the, like the years that we've seen them. Um, you know, and just having these, these new characters brought in, you know, Robbie, the son of Johnny, Sam, the daughter of, uh, uh, Daniel, and then you get a fresh kid like Miguel and you just thrust him into the universe. It's like we're rediscovering what we loved again. And it's what Mark Hamill said about Star Wars, uh, the sequel trilogy, pretty much when it was happening, when it was first starting, he says, you've been here before, but you don't know this story. And that's what I feel like with this show is we we're not just expanding with new, we're expanding the old. So when we go back and watch those movies, we have a new understanding in mind, a new appreciation for, you know, characters like Chris, uh, characters like Daniel, Johnny, you know, we see things in a different way. You know, I'm sure we're gonna probably get some more stuff to do with Miyagi. You know, there's, there's so much that this show does well. 
that adds to the lore, adds to the story, and just completely respects it while telling a new story to make you hit the next episode. I've rewatched season one and two more times than I care to admit because they're so good, and season three, you know, is just as good as they are. I absolutely adore this show, it's brilliant. Now, my mum grew up with the original Karate Kid movies, so she was around, you know, when they were first being released. I wasn't, but she got me into them by introducing me to the trilogy. Then she showed me the next Karate Kid, and then obviously in 2010 we had the remake with uh, Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan, um, which wasn't a bad movie. But you know, it's just you know it wasn't a bad movie. But you know, hey, that 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 is what it is. Um, but she got me into those movies, and I always really liked them. And then when I heard this show Cobra Kai, what's this all about? And then all of a sudden I see a promo shot of like Daniel and Johnny squaring off in the dojo. I'm like, this has the potential to be really, really uh, shit or really, really good. And watching the first season, the quality of writing on display is so good. Right? That's why, you know, the, the, the amount of comments I've been getting from you guys in regards to how I'm able to do like deep dives and theories and delve into why characters do what they do is because of the writing. The writing just, it, it, the writing is so good that I can spot it from a mile away, a mile away. Now, on this show inspiring me, this show has also inspired me to really pursue my dream of acting again. Um, it's something that I was actually really hot on a couple of years ago, but I kind of fell off the bandwagon a bit just because it's one of them things where you just got to keep going. You, you can't give up. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. And that's something that this show has inspired me to do and get back on that horse. Um, now, hey, if, hey, I'm just saying, if you want to get Jacob in Cobra Kai Season 4, I'll fly myself out there. You know, I don't mind. I'll, I'll swim across the ocean. <laughs> I don't mind. Just to say, like, I'm Mike Barnes' uh, son, you know, that he had while he was uh, on holiday in London somewhere. Um, <laughs> uh, whatever works for you guys. Or just, like, I could be, like, a, an exchange student or something. I could be, like, a pen pals with Dimitri. Uh, that'd be cool. But anyway, back on topic. This video is literally just for the, the cast, the creators and whatnot. Because, you know, we've pretty much got confirmation from a lot of the actors that they do like to see what kind of theories and stuff people are making in regards to the show. They may not comment or say anything, but they are watching, they are listening. So if you guys listen to this and you do watch this, you know, brilliant job. Amazing. You know, just wow. You know, absolutely wow. To the cast, your performances and, and in cr creating these nuanced characters, you're, you're, um, you're awesome. To the creators, to keep this level of quality for three seasons and beyond, and just keep us so invested in not only the old but the new, it takes a lot of work. It's not easy. And to build on the previous sil uh, season and all those expectations, it's not an easy feat. It's a hard job. And they knock it out of the park every episode. There's not one single episode where something isn't happening. A character isn't learning something. Or there isn't some kind of necessary development. Or there isn't like a breather where, you know, there's an episode where now and then where there's a breather where you can really sort of take time with the characters. Like with Johnny and Daniel who are on the double date in the, um, uh, in the restaurant. You know, in other series, you could class that as filler. Not in this show because it adds to it. You feel like it adds to it. It adds to the potential bond between Johnny and Daniel, and this show does it so well. So, you know, guys, tweet this to, you know, all the creators. Tweet this to the cast. You know, share it around wherever, because I tell you what, this is for them. This is for them. For you guys, okay? And I'm speaking on behalf of all the Cobra Kai fans when I say this show delivered and then some. It's it, it The fact that you've got Karate Kid fans who grew up with the originals, you've got the Karate Kid fans who are introduced to the movies, and then you've got the Cobra Kai fans who are introduced to the Karate Kid movies through Cobra Kai, and not one of them is unhappy. I, I, I saw any other fandom, you go to Star Wars, Marvel, whoever, there's just like divide and toxicity. There's nothing here. It's brilliant. People may not like a character choice here or there, but there's still room for discussion, opinion, and it's fun. It's absolutely fun. That's why I love doing these videos now, because it just allows me to, to dive deep into these characters. And, you know, with everything that I said earlier on, I give you guys sort of an actor's perspective on characters. That's why I can talk about them in the ways that I can. Because, you know, in the training that I did at my college, 
um, we had to really understand what the characters' intentions were, what their objectives are, what do they want in the scene, what are they trying to convey. So like I always say, a simple scene where Daniel goes, and I love this scene, where Daniel goes to visit Johnny after Sam says, you know, what do you know about his home life? And then Daniel goes to visit him and he's like, is your mom home? And the look, he looks down, watery eyes, Daniel's like, it's okay. That one scene conveys so much. It conveys so much. And then when you rewatch the sh season back, and then you start to see, oh, this is why Robbie went the way he did. Oh, this is why Johnny did this. Or this is why Sam did that. Or Tori did that. Or Miguel does this. It's so beautifully done. And in season two, John Kreese says, you know, you should be training that boy. Why is he over with the Russo? He should be here at Cobra Kai. What happens in season three? <coughs> Boom. Like, that's how, that is how good this show is. And it's because of the creators who every single episode, they're adding so much and it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's one of them shows that I could just pretty much binge watch and never get bored. Like sometimes I won't really watch watch it. I'll have it on in the background while I'm like learning lines or I'm, you know, just chilling or relaxing or whatever. But I, I, I just find myself tuning back in, you know, and just getting so engrossed in the story because it's so beautifully done. And, you know, I love doing these kind of videos because these ones aren't scripted. This is just me speaking from speaking from within. You know, I mean, look, the last video I did, I was talking about Hawk's hair color for season four and what potential hair color he could have. And just on that, the responses were amazing. And it's a great discussion and a great dialogue. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And I cannot wait for season four. I really cannot wait. The story here is absolutely amazing. So creators, cast, directors, producers, you're all awesome. Every single one of you. You should be absolutely proud of yourselves because I, I say it again. This is without a doubt one of the best made pieces, right? I'm including it in movies and TV because to me, movies and TV are one and the same. The only thing that's different between them is either the length, the running time or the quantity. But all in all, in all, same kind of value. This is one of the best things I've seen in years. No joke. It beats pretty much everything. This show is absolutely incredible. The fact that I have encouraged friends I know to get into the Karate Kid movies to then watch this show is just a testament to how good this show is. It's 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 one of the things that I love. I love talking about this show and there's so much I can talk about with it and it's just awesome. So this is just me to the creators and everything. Just, you know, we love this. Thank you. You know, I mean, hey, when you load up Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, People are praising Cobra Kai like crazy anyway, but this is just so there's a video form where we can always relate to it. You know, we can always go, you know what? This is it. This shit is lit. I love this. I love this show. It's absolutely brilliant. And every single person knocks it out of the park. And the one shots that they do in each season, I mean, oh my God. I need to see a behind the scenes of how they do that. It's absolutely incredible how they have the stunt doubles come into the shot and have the stunt doubles go out of the shot without you even noticing. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And again, from a filmmaking perspective, I love the look of it. I just love the aesthetic. I love the way it's shot. And oh God, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Anyway, as I'm a, a fellow Brit, I'm going to go and have a nice cup of PG tips. Um, but yeah, guys and girls, leave your comments down below. Uh, make sure you go and share this to like all the creators um, over on Twitter or Instagram. I want them to see this because, you know, they deserve this. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The show just knocks it out of the park and adds so much to the movies. And you can watch the movies with a different perspective. And yeah, it's just awesome. But yeah, as I always say, you know, defeat does not exist in this dojo. And then, you know, hit the like button, subscribe and share and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, man, that'd be awesome. Oof, get Jacob in season four. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Even if I was just a, you know, I'll, I'll happily be one of the background guys. <laughs> I really don't. I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll be one of the background fighters. But anyway, guys and girls, leave your comments down below. Um, and yeah, you know, just comment down below this video what this show has meant to you in the sense of what it's inspired you to do. Um, what are your favorite aspects of the show? What do you think the show does well? And yeah, just comment all of that below, all of that below. I'm, I'm interested to, to see, to get a bit of a dialogue and a discussion here. 
So yeah, and I want to thank all of you for the support. Um, as I said on my last video, we're closing in on 4,000 subs now. We're on the way, so I cannot thank you all enough. We're closing in on 4,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, there will be a live stream this Sunday, Chosen Live number four. Be there, and I will be there to answer all of your questions. Cobra Kai, Star Wars, or otherwise. And I will talk to you soon. Chosen One, signing out. Your karate's a joke. <laughs>